prefer the bedside manner, but this... What do you mean by this intrusion? What do you think you're doing? Uh, not what you thought of doing, that's for sure. Frankie Howard was about as different from Kenneth Williams as it's possible to get. Hard done by, resigned to failure, theatrically seedy, Frankie slouched on to the strains of you can't have everything, in camp contradiction of his actual stardom, making out his dressing room was a broom cupboard and his weekly salary was paid in petty cash. My room is very small. It's only one room, one room, and there's a budgie in me. But the thing is, what I say goes, that's the main thing. Oh, what? What? His mood was ever-changing. One moment lustful, the next listless. The tufty eyebrows apparently glued on at random over those small, wild eyes. A unique comic creation, once aptly described as Simple Simon with mumps. Ah, yes, pleasure. Come back to Salisbury. Yes. Oh, what's the, uh, how is Salisbury? Divine. Absolutely divine. Oh, <laughs> another camp follower here, I think. I once read a very, very long analysis of Frankie Howard based entirely on the idea that he was butch. Nobody had told me. <laughs> Usually with the cab comedians you could tell, but I, did, I couldn't tell with Frankie Howard. I grew up thinking Frankie Howard was the butchest bloke in the world. When I was a kid, I used to watch Up Pompeii, and I thought, this guy, man, he's unstoppable. Because it was always about, oh, no, now, Lucretia, the slave girl, is getting undressed next door, and I'll have a peep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, there's one more. Come on. Oh. That's a lot. This guy's got nothing but sex with women on his mind every second of the day. And of course, being about, I suppose, 12 or 11 at the time, there was a bond between us. Your shoulders are like the Venus de Milo. Your, your bosoms are like the round hills of Rome. Oh, my eyes. I'm not going that way, I'm sorry. <laughs> the lovely thing about Frankie is that it's so patently obvious that he wouldn't go near, it was always obvious, that he wouldn't go near a woman in real life if he could possibly help it. Oh, be mine, be mine. Oh, do you really think we ought to? Well, may as well. It's bitter out. I mean... <laughs> it's sometimes funnier when you see someone like Frankie Howard sort of playing from within, I don't know, the belly of the beast and being a heterosexual character on, on stage or screen, knowing full well that, of course, that isn't him. And it does give it a certain... There's a certain extra quality. There's a certain strangeness that comes from that. Um, but I think it's something which is very hard to put your finger on if you'll forgive me being a bit camp there. I cannot kiss you, please. Look, I realize I'm attracted to women. I realize that. <laughs> he fed off the audience entirely, and uh, all those titty knots uh, would come the moment he heard a first titter. <laughs> your pardon, missus, or your pardon, you. I like titters, titters of all sizes. <laughs> listen, listen, big titters, small titters. Titters of every size and description. It's very repetitious, and it's, very, it's almost like a calling card. Because you can watch the stuff over and over again, and it's the same type of thing. And it doesn't make it any less clever, because he could make it work every time. But tonight... Ladies and gentlemen, I want to plead for you a favour. Tonight I need your titters. The other clever thing that would be picking out one person. Titters, dear, what do you keep laughing at? Mrs. I wasn't being personal, love. Don't, but don't look at me. Mrs. You're common as muck, that one there. Join her over here. Oh, it's not one of those shows. This show's about love. Shut up! Shut up! Oh, such a face. Loosen something, loosen something. <laughs> Poor soul. Nothing worse than knickers out of focus. <laughs> oh, I never forget what it is to be a part of an audience. Oh. And I, I've always sort of been able to... It's a strange thing, but I think in a sort of way, particularly when I'm playing live shows, I've had the ability to be a bit of a split personality because of this. I can put myself in an audience's position. Do you understand? Well, at yeah. the same time as before. Yeah. And oh, look at her sat there, all, look at her, all toffee nosed. She's sat there, look at her, she's going, so, oh, no, she's stopping. She's saying, I do hope it's not going to be vulgar. <laughs> don't worry, Mrs. I know your type, all fur coat and no knickers, so don't sit there stuffing it up, mate. Frankie was wonderfully gossipy. Yes. I mean, that was the other thing you'd feel with Frankie. You could sit down and say the most wonderful things to each other about, oh, her over there. Oh, you could enjoy yourself hugely. <laughs> We've got some very funny people next door. The next room to me, very funny people. Well, there was him. 
Him, now, he's 80 and she's 75, this couple. 80 and 75, they're newlyweds, just <laughs> married. <laughs> the way, the way they carry on, I can't tell you. I don't know how they do it. Well, I do, because they have, I do. I like Frankie Howard very much because he always looked like he was on, on the verge of a hugely bad mood. <laughs> Don't get common, Mrs. Please. Don't shut us up here. It goes against everything that you expect of an entertainer. You expect an entertainer to be up and happy. We're paying you to be, you know, to jolly us along. And here comes, you know, uh, Frankie Howard or Larry Grace, and they all did that kind of, oh, I've not been well. But you know, I feel, you know, I feel sort of. I, I can't, I'm, you know, I'm, got, I'm not in the mood. I'm sort of feel titter-bound. <laughs> I, I feel, mm, you say, mm. I don't think Frankie did overtly camp stuff. There was a camp manner about him. It was always hinted at. It was always there in the background, but never fully expressed. Oh, you've arrived on washing day. Oh, dear. <laughs> Honestly, I do feel smalls. <laughs> 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 yes, well... <laughs> he was obsessed that people shouldn't think he was homosexual. Uh, but whether he would have minded a label like camp, I, I have my doubts. You would not fight for your freedom. What are you, man or mouse? Pass the cheese, please. <laughs> 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 <laughs>